discussing regional terms. And the first part of the regional terms, we're going to go ahead and start. We're going to do the house, which is the big toe. And next will be the axillary, which will be the armpit region. The buccal region will be the cheek region up here. And our polex is actually going to be the thumb cushion right up in here. Uh, let's see, the patellar region will be the kneecap region, which is right here. And the oral region will be the mouth region right here. Oops, broke your jaw. <coughs> the mental region will be the chin region right here. And the brachial region, region will be the whole bicep region up on the upper arm. And the anti-brachial region will actually be on the backside or the uh, posterior part of the forearm. The crural region will be the leg, which will consist of tibia and fibula. The umbilical region will actually be the belly button, which will be somewhere in this region up in here. The femoral region will be in the upper leg containing the femoral bone. Uh, the calcaneal region will be the heel right here. And the sural region will be the calf, which is posterior on the tip fib, so it'll be in this region. The popliteal region will be right here behind the leg on the knee behind the knee. And the olecranal region will consist of the elbow region right here. The pecromal region will consist of the shoulder region. And the occipital region will be in the back of the head. <coughs> so now for directional terms, we'll be consisting of things such as the head is superior to the sternum, so the head is more vertical to the sternum. The olecranal is, the elbow is more, uh, not as close to the trunk of the body as it is from the, uh, the shoulder, which is more closer to the trunk. Let's see, the axilla, the axilla is proximal to the, the brachium, which basically means the armlet right here is more closer to the body than the arm. The nose is medial to the eyes, so basically the nose is more in the center line of the body than the eyes are. <coughs> the elbow right here is proximal to the carpus, which basically means the elbow is closer to the body than the wrist. The sternum is anterior to the vertebral column, so the sternum right here is on the front side of the body as compared to the vertebral column, which is on the posterior or the back side of the body. <coughs> the umbilicus region, or the umbilicus is inferior to the sternum, which means the umbilicus is right here, which is farther away from the head than the sternum. <coughs> and the patella, the patella is proximal to the taurus, which means the knee is actually closer to the body or the trunk of the body than the ankle. And the ears are lateral to <coughs> the nose, which means the ears are on the side of or away from the midline of the body. So now we'll go ahead and move into our regions, or in our nine regions. So up here we have the right hypochondriac region, the right lumbar region, and the right iliac region. On the left we have the left hypochondriac region, the left lumbar, and the left iliac region. And in the center we have the epigastric region, the umbilical region right here dead in the center, and the hypogastric region. So right here, right in the right hypochondriac region, we have the two organs, the liver and the gallbladder. <coughs> in the right lumbar region, we have 
the ascending colon of the large intestine, as well as parts of the small intestine running through it. And in the right iliac region, we have the cecum, as well as the appendix. <laughs> On the left hypochondriac side, we have the diaphragm, which is a major organ for breathing, as well as part of the stomach. On the left lumbar region, we have the descending colon of the large intestine, as well as parts of the small intestine running through there. And on the left iliac region, <coughs> we'll get back to that here in a second. Uh, and on the epigastric region, we have the stomach and the liver. On the umbilical region, we have the small intestine and the large intestine. And in the hypogastric region, we have a piece of the small intestine running through it, as well as the urinary 